All right, today we have Behemoth. Once upon a pale horse, this is part of my reaction. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Once upon a pale horse by Behemoth. Mm. We're gonna get deep and dark into this. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's gonna get dark. <laughs> I love. I, I actually really like these guys. Um, it took me years mm. to actually really enjoy them. I got to be honest with you. Really? Yeah, I had a uh, out of high school, maybe a little, a couple years after high school. Like I had a friend give me their CD. And I really tried. I, I listened to it a lot, and I was like, oh, I just can't. I can't, like, I like it, but I, I can't get into it enough that I'd listen to it all the time. Mm. And over the years, I just got more into it, more into it, more into it. And then I finally got to see them two times uh, past couple years, and they, they're they amazing live. And it really right. sold me on these guys. In fact, I believe Rolling Stones or AP or somebody actually ranked them as, like, one of the top ten best live bands to see. Really? Yeah, they're oh, very, wow. very good. Uh, a lot of cool stage shows. It's very dark. Yeah. A lot of face paint. Um, their bassist, I can't remember his name, but he's a fucking giant, bro. When he comes on stage, you're like, who the fuck? What the fuck is this, dude? Like, what nefarious, <laughs> nefarian fucking weirdo is this guy? You know, or Nef- uh, ne- what is it? Nephilim. Nef- Nephilim. Like, this is guy. This is a guy out of the <laughs> scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So, Behemoth, Once Upon a Pale Horse. This is brand new. 22 hours. It's been out. They're killing it, obviously. Yeah. And a lot of people consider them one of the better, like, metal, like, dark metal bands out there. And, I, hey, I, I agree. I think they're pretty amazing. Yeah, let's get into this. They tend to have, like, a slower vibe to their metal. Yeah. So simple and awesome. I ascend a sunny to the night. It's a boob right here. Yeah. Yeah. That rip is so heavy. <laughs> yeah, it is, dude. It's, it's so clean, man. Ooh, that's different. That was a different drum sound. Yeah. Little ladies. Such a unique sound. They yeah. do the video is actually pretty cool. Like they do a lot of different like of like the band and then they also have like the CGI stuff that they yeah. got going on. Yeah. But then they have like the also like almost like what we've seen with uh Sleep Token. Like Sleep Token where they the have statues. like those statues and mm-hmm. stuff and they True. do like the circular like yeah. camera angles and stuff. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. It's very cool. These guys are, are such a unique band to me. And, and I, you know, when I showed my wife, she wasn't having it. Oh, yeah. no. There's a lot. Like, <laughs> I understand because it took me, like I said, it took me a while to, like, really understand what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it was kind of weird. Com- like, these guys have toured with some bands that, like, feels like a weird combination, but it's really not. Like, they were they were touring with Slipknot and shit. Oh, yeah. You know, and it's like, you know, 
they they had like these guys, Gojira, Slipknot. You know, it's like a very they, they they just can throw themselves into a whole lot of styles. But what I really like about them, like you were saying on this riff, which I think is awesome. It's also so it's cool. such like a for their look and the style of metal that they are, like it's such a unique sound because it's almost like has a bouncy feel to it. Yeah, it's for like, like Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what subgenre a lot of people would put these guys under per se, but that's really when you can like get the crowd like, oh yeah, it's weird for this style. And I can see that too, like yeah, the, having that riff going and the whole crowd just yeah, I, that that is going to be a, a live banger. Yeah, and if you like shut the music off and you had no idea who these guys were, just looking at appearance, mm -hmm. you would think that they'd be a very fast like death metal kind of band or yeah. like a dark metal, black metal kind of. Yeah, band. it's a lot slower pace than that. It is. It's but, different. But also, they also tip into that just a little bit when he comes in with like the mm -hmm. and yeah. then the double kick starts going you get a taste of that too but then it just gets heavy right into that slow yeah. even the drums are kind of pussing in a little of like these 80s sounds yeah like that, really Neil sound. that really hollow sound <laughs> right <laughs> there for a second they it's, had. it's yeah. different right it's like these little elements that make it so unique for this for the genre it's yeah, cool i'm man. actually digging it pretty yeah good. it's cool dude back it up a second That sounds like a good So many drum rolls. Oh, I like the There it is. That was a cool song, man. That would be really fun to see live. Yeah, I could picture it right now, dude. They like, uh, you know, listen. I, obviously, they've been touring for many years, and I've probably only seen them a couple times over the last four mm. years ish. But like, I still have their videos on my phone. I keep them on there because like I, they're just enjoyable, man. Yeah, like very, very heavy, <laughs> very, very tight. I mean, that's a huge one. Is that they're oh, extremely yeah. tight. <clears throat> Uh, I wish I knew their names. Uh, the front man <clears throat> puts on an amazing show, dude. He just has, like, uh, really good uh, – he's very charismatic on stage. Like, he gets a crowd really involved. And they have this presence um, that a lot of bands can't just don't have. You know what I'm saying? Like, they have all the cool stage shows, but there's that presence that's that also enhances a band. Mm, yeah. And they just look – it looks right. Like, they're yeah. not going overboard. Their <clears throat> sets are always really cool. They have tons of cool pyrotechnics and shit. Very cool band, dude. It's a really cool band. Yeah, I actually really dug that song. the The riff was like super simple but heavy, and it just like you said, it kind of made you bounce. And you're yeah. just like, on. the all the intricacies with the, the way they that drummer in this song. He rips on this song, dude. I mean, he rips a lot. There but was that's, so many like long fills, and you're just like, yeah. and, all while maintaining like, a all, fast double kick. Yeah, all through that solo, he's just going like you're listening to guitars, but he's yeah. going nuts the whole time. Agreed, dude. Agreed. That was that was awesome. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm so happy these guys are still just like, just like doing their thing, dude. Yeah. 
Like, just keeping metal honest. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I love it. Behemoth, Once Upon a Pale Horse. Uh, dude, fantastic. Awesome. I, I, for me, I'm, I'm loving this, guys. So if you like what we do, make sure you follow, like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell. It's very, very important. Yeah. Helps us out a lot. And what else, Chris? Go down there in that description. Yep. There's a cash app link down there if you want to donate. Everything yeah. make, we make goes to the artists. Copyright. Also, we have a Patreon. Two bucks a month. You can request videos and see everything that doesn't make it up to YouTube. Yeah, let us know what your favorite Behemoth song is. I, I, I want to mm, hear because yeah. I think it's uh, they have so many. Their catalog's so big. I'd love to know what the uh, what the fans think is the best one. Yeah, maybe we'll do another one. Sure, absolutely. So thank you guys. Awesome.